hypothesis testing of the population mean of a continuous variable using the normal distribution. Heights of some sixth form students are normally distributed with a population mean of 160 and standard deviation 5. A random sample is taken of uh, 10 students and the sample mean is 163.5. So the 163.5 will become our test value. We're going to test at the 5% level of significance whether the mean height of students has increased. So a one-tailed test. So the population mean is 160. The standard deviation was 5, so the variance is 5 squared. The sample of 10 students was taken, and the distribution of the sample mean, 160, sigma squared over n, so 5 squared over 10, and the test value, 163.5, So H0, the population mean, is 160. We're looking for an increase in the height of students. So H1, the alternative hypothesis, the population mean is more than 160. A 5% significance level. So in our sketch, the mean of 160 goes in the centre. and we're looking for an increase. So if this arrow points to the right, you shade on the right-hand side of the distribution, and 5% goes in here, the significance level, which means 95% is on this side. So this is our critical region where we would reject H0, and this is our acceptance region so now we need to work out the critical value that goes here. And that comes from the standardizing formula. So this value here, the sample mean, will be our critical value that goes here. So we look up 95% from the normal tables. Page 19, 95%. The Z value is 1.645. And it's positive because we're on the right-hand side of the distribution. If we were on this side, that would be a negative value. You would put a minus in front of the 1.645. So in the standardizing formula here, uh, minus the mean, divided by the standard deviation. This is the variance, so we need to square root the variance. And then if we rearrange this to work out our critical value here, So that gives 162.6. The test value is 163.5, which goes in the critical region. So the conclusion is to reject H0 because the test value is in the critical region and state that there is significant evidence that students are now taller. The acceptance region is less than 162.6, this side, and the rejection region more than 162.6, this side. We use the acceptance region to calculate the probability of a type 2 error, and the rejection region is calculated from this region here in this test, we have rejected H0, so it's possible that a type 1 error was made. And the probability of making a type 1 error is the probability of this shaded region, which is 5%.